Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. Alright, let's start a new run. What will we get? Hmm. Okay, well, my choice here is pretty clear. Warlock, I do not like to play in Arena. Shaman has Overload, which again, I don't like to play ever. I don't get Overload, I don't like it, it frustrates me and pisses me off, so... Let's go with Warrior and smash things in the face. Assuming we actually get weapons, which we probably will. Arcanite Reaper, please. Alright, Gold Light's here without other Warlock... Without other Warlocks, I keep making that mistake. Murlocks. The difference between Warlocks and Murlocks is its slight, but it's there. There's a slight difference. Okay, upgrade. If I... Get a weapon, that could be quite good. If I don't have a weapon, a 1-3 weapon is kinda terrible. Hmm. Hmm. I... Do I want to take that in Arena? Upgrade. Maybe. Maybe. It'd give me some extra reach with my weapons that I'm assuming I'm going to get. Eh, we're gonna go with it. We'll, we'll see what happens. Wolfrider or Ironforge Rifleman? Hmm. I don't really particularly care for the Ironforge Rifleman. I don't want Shield Block, I know that. And do I want a charge creature? The Ironforge Rifleman could have some utility, could use that to kill a very weak enemy. Or pop a Divine Shield. But... Is that battle cry really worth a 2-2 for 3? I don't think it is, I'm gonna go with the Wolf Rider. Execute. And remember, I do want to stick with really low costs, uh, low cost minions. Like I really want to emphasize my low cost minions. So I don't want the Goldshire Footman though. Execute or heroic strike. Let's go with execute. It gives me the possibility of taking down something huge. Okay, these are nice. Raging Organ. Hmm. These are all good picks, they're all good cards. Hmm. Let's go with the Raging Worgen. Ooh, this is easy. I'm Money Berserker. South Sea Deckhand, don't really care for it. Scarlet Crusader, good card, Mugashan Warden. Maybe. Is there anything I want to protect? Uh, Raging Worgen, I suppose. Wolf Rider. It's only got one health. Worth protecting, definitely. Amani Berserker. Um, yeah, I'll go with the Taunt. Got a bit to protect. I don't want another one, though. Definitely go with the Spiteful Smith. Again, I'm assuming I'm going to get weapons, which I probably will. Harvest Golem is a damn good card. Shattered Sun Cleric, also a pretty good card. Not as good as it was before, now that it's been nerfed down to a 3-2 instead of... What was it, a 3-3? But still... Let's go with the Harvest Golem, though. Novice Engineer? I don't have any card draw. Dark Iron Dwarf is tempting, though. Now nah, I'll go with the card draw. Hmm. Imp Mastery is kind of tempting. I mean, both the uh, both the Violet Teacher and the Imp Master can be combined pretty well with the 
um, with execute. Because so I could just suicide a 1 1 into something and then execute it. Which would be quite nice. Uh, I think the Violet Teacher is more useful, though, just because it's a 3 5, where this is a 1 5. Like, the Imp Master is not really going to be able to kill much on its own, but the Violet Teacher can. And it only costs one more mana. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Violet Teacher. Ooh, I'm on Berserker, yes. I will take some removal. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Whirlwind would be... <laughs> Whirlwind actually might be amazing. I have two Almani Berserkers and a Raging Worgen, which could be triggered with a Whirlwind. It could be crazy. I'm gonna go with it. Razor Fan Hunter. I could use some low costers as well. Yeah, I don't have any one-coster minions. Do I want a one-coster taunt? Maybe? I could use it to protect, potentially protect my Amani Berserker, Berserkers, and my Raging Worgen for a potential... potential whirlwind play or something like that. On the other hand, it doesn't have any attack, which kind of blows. Hmm. Let's go to the Argent Squire. Ooh, more removal sounds nice. Scarlet Crusader's good. But card draw, I should probably go for. Hmm. Inner Rage could combo really nicely with my Amani Berserkers and Raging Organs. And it costs nothing. Shield Block, I really don't want. I really hope I get some weapons. Where have they been? War Golem is a nice big stompy creature, but again, it's a 7-7 seven, seven for 7, which I don't think is very good at all. But I don't think Inner Rage is really that good. At least in Arena. I'll go to the War Golem, get something big. There's my Arcanite Reaper. Hmm, another one coster? Yeah, let's, let's go with another one coster. Ooh, Blitzail Raider could be damn nice, and even if you don't combo it with a weapon. A 2-3 for a 2 is still good. Arathi Weaponsmith could be nice. I think I've been undervaluing the Arathi Weaponsmith. Because you can get a minion on the board and attack something with a weapon. Which might not be particularly useful if you're, say, in Constructed and you already have a bunch of weapons, but in this case I only have one at the moment. And I can't exactly count on getting more. So... But I'm gonna go with more low costers. Frothing Berserker, this thing can go absolutely out of control. Yes. Nightblade, no. Dalaran Mage, terrible. Torn Warrior, it is. Ooh, ooh. I want all of them. Can I have them all? Warsong Commander could combo that with my War Golem. On turn 10. Not sure how likely that is, but. Yeah, it could be a... I mean, Warsong Commander is best played late game when you can play it plus something else on the same turn. Otherwise, it's hard to make it stick. Because chances are, your opponent's just going to go crazy and go nuclear on it and just destroy it because they know how dangerous it can be. Cruel Taskmaster could combo very nicely with stuff. I mean, it's essentially just like a, an Inner Rage, but it's a battle cry instead of a card on its own. So frankly, I just think of it as a better Inner Rage. Because you actually get a minion on the board at the same time. let 
it's good. But another raging worgen is also good. I'm going to have a lot of rage. Two Almani Berserkers. A Frothing Berserker. A Torn Warrior. A Raging Worgen. And potentially another one. And the Cruel Taskmaster could even be removal if something has one health, or you can get it down to one health. It's not the best use of its skill, of course, but it, it can happen. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the Raging Worgen. Let's go with Rage. Okay. Let's go with the Argent Squire. I guess. I don't... I really don't want the other ones. Argonite Reaper. Yes, please. Mad Bomber. Yes. Charge? No. Goldshire Footman. Do I want a one-coster taunt? Hmm. I already have three one-coster minions. I don't know if I want more. Maybe another Execute? Yeah, let's go with Execute. I already have an upgrade, right? Yeah, I do. Do I want another one? Not really. Do I want a Twilight, Twilight Drake? Not really. Do I want a Knife Juggler? Yeah, why not? Ooh, Corcoran Elite. Damn good. More guard draw. At the moment, I have an Acolyte of Pain. And an Office Engineer, which isn't exactly a great amount. I would like the... Uh, what is it called? Whatever the one... Whatever the Warrior-specific card is that gives you a card for every... F damage friendly minion, or damage friendly character, rather. It includes your own character, even. So if your hero's damage, you can get a card. I would like that. You know, we're going super aggro. I've got two Raging Worgens, a Torn Warrior, a Frothing Berserker, two Omani Berserkers, and I've got uh, a Whirlwind. Let's go full on aggro. Punch him in the face. Hmm. I already have a four-coster taunt. Do I want another one-coster, though? I really don't. I've already got three, so I'm gonna go with this engine. Hmm. I mean, you can think of the Frothing Berserker this way. If you can get one minion to take damage, it becomes a 3-4 three, for three, which is good. So if you can get one minion to take damage while this thing's on the board, it becomes a good card. Anything above that, it becomes amazing. So... I'm gonna go with it again. We're going super aggro, alright. I'm pretty happy with this deck. It doesn't have a lot of removal. It doesn't have a lot of direct removal. I have a Whirlwind, which is not particularly good for removal unless you're fighting against a bunch of Silverhand recruits and Imp Master minions. Um... Plus there's Cleave, and how many Executes do I have? One or two? Or is Execute? Okay, well I got a decent amount. Okay, so there's Whirlwind, which is not really great for removal for the most part. And then there's two Executes and a Cleave. But, I do have two Arcanite Reapers. And a Spiteful Smith to combo with it, potentially. And an upgrade to combo with it, potentially. And I'm super aggro, so yeah, this should be fun, actually. This should be really fun to play. I might get my face beaten into the ground. I'm thinking maybe I should have taken the shield blocks. At least one of them, just to be able to heal back, because I think I'm going to be punching stuff in the face a lot. But, we'll see. I don't know, as, as long as I don't face a mage that has a pyroblast, I might be okay with taking a ton of damage. And I have a lot of 1 and 2 costers, and 3 costers, which I'm happy about. One of these things does not belong. And that's you. I'll keep the other ones. Ooh. Well, I mean, I don't exactly want to play this turn one. Hmm. Do I play it? Do I just get it on the board? I should probably just get it on the board, shouldn't I? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll just get on the board. Right, well, I'll money Berserker next turn, obviously. I am holding a lot of rage in my hand. So much rage. Hmm. What have you got? Some sort of an imp? Oh no, you coined a life tap. Coined a life tap? That puts me in a really good spot. I mean, a warrior that's based around enrage and doing tons of damage and some charge creatures even against a warlock who's based around doing damage to yourself, basically, and discarding your own cards and stuff to gain a, an advantage is uh, its good for me. Hmm. That's a nice play. <laughs> Another Amani Berserker. Or a Frothing Berserker. You know what? I should just get this thing out. And just go for the face. Ignore that. Yeah. What's the worst they could do? With what they have on the board, they could... Kill my abusive sergeant. And that's it. And by doing so, they would buff up my Frothing Berserker. But maybe the Raging Worgen makes more sense. I think the Raging Worgen maybe makes more sense. Let's do the Raging Worgen. Because with what they have on the board, with so limited damage potential, I could potentially kill two things. Wood, that's Wind Fury, whereas I can't do that with a Frothing Berserker. And because of the Divine Shield of the Urgent Squire, even if it does kill my Abusive Sergeant, which it almost certainly will, it's not really going to... Only one minion's going to be taking damage, which it only buff it once, which isn't great. Yeah, I mean, here I can two for one. Well, actually, no. Never mind, I can one for one. I can kill a three coster with a three coster, which isn't great. Right. Well, I'm probably going to get my Frothing Berserker out there, so... I'd play that first, and then punch things in the face. Okay, how's this going to work? I wonder. Okay. Punch. And punch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this, this Frothing Berserker is about to get big. Punch you in the face. Punch you in the face. Punch you in the face. Right. I have some very weak things here. However, even if they killed the two weak things... I still have an 8-4. I burned a lot of cards to do it, but... Man, do they need to respond to what I have on the board. Put this apple on your head. Ooh, nice play. What do you... Come on. <gasps> oh! <laughs> That's exactly what they didn't want it to hit. <gasps> Wait a minute, is that GG? Is that GG on turn 5? I need to count this. That's 14... Plus, that's... GG. Right? Oh my god. I just won on turn 5. That might be the quickest victory I have ever won. <laughs> wow.
Talk about angry cards. Garrosh versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. Yes. No. Oh, hello. Do I want two? Yeah, I'll keep two. Let's get some rage on the board. Hmm. Not exactly what I wanted. Do I have to? Oh, now's a very good time to mad bomber. But then what do I play turn two? Nothing, I guess. Hmm. Should I mad bomber now? With no turn two play? Might be worth it. I could wait until turn two and then Raging Worgen. Not gonna kill that thing. Mad Bomber for the win, thank you. I'm facing Lollergasm, the Warlock. Mind if I roll need? The light oh, protects yeah, you. Got it. I'm sure they're just going to use their loot order to take out my Mad Bomber and get a card in the process, which is a good trade for them. Argent Squire versus Argent Squire. Let's get one of those things out there. I fight. Should we just pop each other's divine shields? Does it matter? I, I don't know if it matters. Whether I pop his divine shield now or just kill it later. They're, they might sacrifice everything they have against my raging war. Oh, no, God. Right. That thing needs to die. And I can do it with an execute. And keep my Arch and Squire alive. And play a Raging Worgen, which is pretty much the best thing ever. Wow, that, that's actually really, really good and really bad for them. Pit Lord can be a damn powerful play unless they can remove it. But if they can't, I mean, to get something so big out so early. You know, if, if your opponent doesn't have a response to it, it can just... Barrel out of control, and you lose the game. But if they do have a response to it, an efficient one, well, you just damaged yourself and lost it. I will enjoy watching wow, they have some really interesting cards. Unfortunately for them, I can just Arcanite Reaper that. Which is probably what I should do, right? Yeah, nothing else makes sense. Wow, they have some big cards. My god. Hmm. Wait a minute, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I have do I have lethal? I need to ask myself that. Um What now? I don't. No, I can do 12 damage. Almost. I think I should just ignore that thing. What now? Hmm. 
yeah um Should have played the novice engineer first just to see what card I would have gotten. But they, unless they have some sort of removal, they need to use their Ventrico against that. And I can kill them if they don't have Taunt. I can kill them just with my the charge in my hand alone. Oh, actually that's restored health. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay. So I don't have lethal, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. I can do eight damage, are you kidding me? Hmm. Still can't punch me in the face. Got to go through my Torn Warrior. Please don't have a taunt. Thankfully, it's not a taunt. Right. Do I kill that thing and buff up my frothing berserker? Maybe. Or do I just charge for their face? for the face. This is so close. I feel like I'm misplaying this, though. Like I did something wrong. Oh god, not the car stupid card thing where they're over each other. Fight, what the- maggot. I did not mean to play that, I was trying to- fuck. Whatever. <laughs> uh, an abusive sergeant. Well, they have to kill it at least. If they get up a taunt wall, I might just be done for. But if they don't, if I get my weapon, I'm good. And the cards are overlaying over each other again. God damn it. Ah. I just kill stuff. Kill stuff. Not the greatest. I could certainly use my other Arcanized Reaper. Please don't have a taunt. Oh, God. Am I going to lose this game with them having two health left? That'd be so sad. I would be so, so sad. They're going to get taunt at the end of their turn. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just dead. Yeah, like, what am I going to do? What could I possibly do to get through to them? Do I have anything that does direct damage that doesn't have to go through a taunt? I have Whirlwind, which does one damage. Wow, I'm seriously... They have two health. And I have over 30, and I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. I might as well concede now.
Holy crap. I'm pretty sure I'm dead next turn, but we'll see what happens. I'm not going to count the damage. Hey, yeah, I'm dead. Well played. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have lethal. Don't you have lethal? Ready, sir. 10, 14, 18. Maybe they don't. Oh, no, they don't. I can't believe I lost that. I don't know what the hell I did wrong. I, I'm pretty sure I did something wrong. I had such an advantage, but then it just came out from under me. I should have played that differently, but I'm not sure how. Like, I'm almost certain I should have played it differently. Should I have been less cautious and just gone for the throat more, or should I have been more cautious? I don't know. It's really hard for me to tell. Should I toss the Harvest Golem? Probably not. No. I was about to ask, where's my whirlwind been? And the answer is... right there. <laughs> Greetings. Hello. Right, that's not good. No turn two play. I have a lot of options for turn three, though, that's for sure. Oh, they don't have any options either. Okay. Raging Worgen. Next turn I can Frothing Berserker and Whirlwind, which would aggro this and also buff this twice, up to a 4-4. Or it could just die. a big taunt and then play a frothing berserker and an Amani berserker behind it. So if they want to keep beating on it, they're going to keep uh, buffing up my frothing berserker. Ooh. Ooh. The Amana Berserker and the Frothing Berserker would combo so well with the Mad Bomber. Go ahead and kill it. I'm fine with that. I 
Thank you for the buff. Alright, what do I do next turn exactly? Mad Bomber? Let the pain speak to me. Shields up. Alright, things just got awkward. Things just got mighty awkward. Mad Bomber, see what happens? Like, I don't want to see what happens with Mad Bomber. Let's see what happens with Mad Bomber. Excellent! Okay, cool. <laughs> if I whirlwinded, do you realize how much damage this frothing berserker would do? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. I wonder. Let me make sure I got this right. Play this. Whirlwind. <laughs> oh my god. How is that for an angry board? That is one frothing, frothing berserker. Of course they have something to kill it. Thankfully they can't have a flame strike yet. Wait, have they used their coin? Oh no, they're coining a flame strike, aren't they? Fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Did I overextend myself too much? I forgot they had the coin. Ooh. That's a nice card to have. Unfortunately, I can't play that in any of these things. In fact, it actually makes more sense to play these things. I've, after all, they don't have anything scary on the board. Okay, even if that costs me the game, the fact that I played so much, it was really fun to play. Just making the frothing berserker so frothing is fun. It's hilarious. Alright, so leaves me the 2-1. You're just playing it off. They're probably gonna playing it off. Oh. Oh. Ah, and the cards are overlaid again. Dear God, stop doing that game. I want... I want my Arcanite... I had this happen in, a, in play mode once, and I literally couldn't play the card I wanted to play because I couldn't fucking select it. Oh my god. Well, whatever. I'm gonna play this anyway. Jesus. Right. So I'm top decking now, which is really bad. Really, really bad. The good thing is they're low on health. The bad thing is I'm top decking. Right, so they're really paranoid about their health. Hmm. What is it? Oh, that didn't trigger it. Why does it say three in the top left corner? What? What the hell is that? This game is really buggy. I'm just going to save my weapon. Yeah. They might be low on health, but look at how many cards they have and look at how many I have. None. Ah. <sighs> 
I think I overextended myself. Really? Are you fucking serious? Is this actually happening? I don't. What? Just. What is it? I fight. Right, there's two more. So one's obviously Ice Block, or whatever it's called. What are the other ones? Ooh, Spiteful Smith in Rage would be nice. Alright, what is it? Mirror, mirror Entity, alright. That's the other one. I'm pretty sure I've lost this, just... I know what they have is going to prevent them from dying that turn. So given that I'm top decking, and they've bought themself, themselves time with all of the secrets they just played, yeah. It's a counter spell, okay. Well, at least I know. Gonna sacrifice that? Huh. I'll put it on your oh. Head. They are bent to my command. I'll never tell. Tazdingo! There's basically nothing I can do but accept my nearly inevitable death. I'm ready. I'm ready. I might as well just concede, right? Alright, they have lethal next turn, so unless I have something that I can respond, and I don't. <laughs> that would be a very powerful Blood Sail Raider. A 7-3 for 2. Holy crap, but it doesn't matter. It started so well. What's happened? I don't know, this is, it seems like a fun deck to play, but I think I'm overextending myself, but I, d I don't know how to, I just don't know how to not overextend myself. Do I just not play cards? That seems dumb, doesn't it? Please don't be another mage. Okay. Hmm. That's a tasty lineup. That is a very tasty lineup. On turn one, I can coin Amani Berserker. Turn two, Mad Bomber to probably oh, enrage it. Oh yeah, definitely gonna do that. <laughs> time for a blood. Huh. Greetings. 
probably enrage it and probably kill the Worgen Infiltrator at the same time, and if the Worgen Infiltrator attacks my Amani Berserker, it won't even kill it, and it will enrage it. In other words, awesome! Please don't be a Tom, please don't be a Tom, please don't be a... <sighs> Not precisely what I wanted, but not terrible. The light protects me. You sure that was a good idea? It's a pissed off Awani Berserker, but then again, the one one's gonna trade with it and stay alive. So it probably is a good idea. In fact, I could play my Tauren Warrior and protect it. And if they attack it, it's going to become enraged. Ooh. I've got a raging board, again. And that's not a euphemism. Please don't be a taunt, please don't be a taunt, please don't be a... Good. Well, maybe not good. Well, yeah, it is good. They have no spells to play. In fact, I should just leave their stuff alone. Yeah, just leave it alone. Do I just full-on aggro charge? But again, I have to ask myself, am I overextending myself if I do that? Maybe. Ah, YOLO. It's been neutered. Still, though, what else you got? Hmm? 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 Could play a knife juggler raging worgen next turn. Well, that thing's not gonna do much. Big fat pile of nothing. Not where I wanted it to hit. Bring it on. All right, this one's looking good. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I think they're looking for a way out. Did they find it? Got six mana. What could you do for six mana? Forked, uh, what is it called? Forked Lightning, which would be boosted by this. Hoping for a taunt? That's still GG. What have you got? What? Are... Ooh. Alright, so they're getting desperate, but they do stay alive at the moment. Is there any way around that? Four? There's no way I can do damage to them directly this turn. Okay. Probably save Cleave, I think. I or I could Violet, Teacher, and Cleave. Hmm. No, I feel like I should save that for next turn. Just in case they get some, like, uh, like a taunt totem or something. What a 
blow something up? <laughs> Wouldn't it have been hilarious if that hit them three times? That would have been amazing. Uh, wouldn't that be funny to actually be literally killed by your own mad bomber? I think I just... they have no taunt. Alright, GG. Whew. I thought I might actually go on a 3 lose three losing streak and finish with a 1-3 score. Now if I lose, I'll finish below average. Yeah! Do I keep the do I keep the Arcanine Reaper? I have two of them. I think I should keep it. Especially with so many playable cards. I think I'll keep everything. Hello. Greetings. Turn two Almani Berserker I... after this. Double Almani Berserker. And then turn three Acolyte of Pain or Frothing Berserker. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Or I could equip a 1 3 weapon. No thanks. Man, upgrade plus Arcanite Reaper would be so powerful. A 6-3 weapon. I could kill most things. Alright, another canceling card. Should I just kill it? Let's do it. I can get this thing up to a 4-4. Yeah, this is one of the angriest decks I've ever played. Don't mess with Tusk. Well, they don't have the damage on the board at the moment to kill my frothing berserker. They could sacrifice everything they have and use their hero power. But I'd be okay with that. I've already gotten pretty good value out of it, I think. That'd be 8 damage to their face already. If they attack it. Plus the attack I already did against them. Pretty good. And if they put something big out, I can Arcanite Reaper it.
Hmm. Are they going to kill it? They are. Okay. That does actually leave me in a rather weak position. The end is coming. Hmm. The funny thing is, they think I can't kill that. Little do they know I can. Yes, I can. Alright, yeah, let's shut that down, shall we? No doomsayer for you. Next turn, I could... Novice Engineer, see what I get, then upgrade, potentially. What are you doing? Why do you want to pop that Divine Shield? What have you got for four mana? Drink with me, friend. Oh. Nothing. They just wanted to pop it. Hmm. I think I'll probably just kill that and charge at their face. Yeah, but before that, let me see if I have any other options. Hmm. Nah. I'll just charge at their face. Ooh. Ah, that's okay. You got the weakest one. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I actually got really lucky there. Still, though, they do have 4-4 four, four worth of sets for a 3-coster, so that's good value for them. Ooh. You're giving me cards? To take out a Corcoran Elite? I don't think I would have done that. Huh. Okay. I could destroy the stuff they have on the board. I could punch the Demolisher down and cleave. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, like, do I play my stuff, n stuff now, or do I just take out what they have on the board and just maintain my card advantage? This is hard. I must choose. That was a bit of a misplay there. I actually meant to uh, use the Acolyte of Pain against the Argent Squire. But it's okay, I was thinking that the Demolisher actually is not too bad against me here. Like, I don't really need to go nuclear on it. Because two of the four things it could hit, at least as far as my minions go, would give me something, give me a card, or enrage my Raging Worgen. So it's not too bad. Execute, please. Execute, 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 execute. 
Give me execute. I really need to execute right about now. Of course, I might just end up punching that thing in the face. Hmm. That's not execute. What's the best way to kill that? Probably Arcanite Reaper and Wolf Rider. Five, six, seven, eight. Not sure if that was the best play. Thing is, it's demolisher shooty thing could have killed my raging worgen. But if they have something that does AoE damage, it's going to die anyway. Hmm. One damage and draw a card. Okay. Back for me. Now I have almost no damage potential on the board. That's fine. Just punch that with my Arcanite Reaper. Alright, Cleave would be really nice right about now. If it had Frothing Berserker, that'd be a very nice combo as well. Ooh! That's gonna be a very powerful Bloodsail Raider. That's gonna be a 7-3 for 2. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. I could even upgrade as well, or can I? No, I could. I could Bloodsail Raider, Cleave, Sentient Shield Master, and upgrade. Well, upgrade first. Nah, no. Let's not overplay it. There we go. <laughs> You're rather powerful, aren't you? Ooh, got lucky there. That is a ridiculous blood cell raider. Just a 7-3 for two. The value of that is mind-boggling. Alright, what have you got? Okay. Ooh, nice. But they're out of cards. Execute, please. That is not an execute. Okay. Hmm. I pretty much have to punch that thing in the face, don't I? Maybe I shouldn't attack. Yeah, why attack that right now? What now? Build, maybe build up a wall behind it and then hope I get an execute. And if I don't, I could always just do it again. Do my old plan. They can't punch through it. 
with their injured blade master and the next card they have is probably not going to be something amazing so what now they are bend to my command Pay attention class Shoot. Do they have, like, a board wipe card that they could do? I'll hold on to it. I I don't know what they have that could board wipe. Like, do I want to play the upgrade, even though I can't use my weapon this turn, or I'm not going to use my weapon this turn, just to get the 1-1 Violet Apprentice? I don't think I need to. I have so much damage potential already. What do you have? Please don't be something big. Okay. I think I've... Yeah, I think I'm okay. Oh no, they can punch through it. Yeah, their hero power plus that. So what are they going to do? Punch me in the face? With their iron bark protector? Or are you going to take down my weaponsmith? That's a tough decision. I'm not sure what I would do. Execute? That's not execute. But it could enrage my spiteful smith. Yellow. Oh, that was absolutely terrible. Okay. Well. I really shouldn't face tank that thing as much as I want to. I really do want to, but that would put me down to two health, which is kind of dumb. They'd have to have a really good card right now. Like another Iron Bark Protector, for example. Okay. GG. Three wins. Now I can rest easy knowing no matter what happens, I will be at least moderately happy with my run. That's all I can ask for, really. Probably just keep it all. Yeah, I'll just keep it. That's a good opening hand.
Do I just play my Argent Squire or do I coin the Amani Berserker? Let's just play that. Right, well, I'm obviously going to kill the Leper Gnome, no doubt about that. I fight. Now, do I Amani Berserker or Torn Warrior? Coin the Torn Warrior. I feel like if I'm going to sacrifice the character, the minion anyway, I might as well not waste the coin on it, when I could potentially use that for something else later. I could even combo it with the Violet Teacher at some point, because this does count as a spell. Fair enough. Ooh, Mad Bomber looks like a nice play. Or is it? Maybe it's not. I mean, it'd probably kill that, but I could also get a Harvest Golem out there. And then Torin Warrior next turn and coin the Mad Bomber to potentially enrage it, but I can't attack on the same turn, so that doesn't seem like good a good idea. What now? Ah, let's play. Well done. Nice card to play in this situation. Hmm. Okay. I have plays. See, hey, I'm really tempted to Violet Teacher and then coin Abusive Sergeant. Which would get me three minions out on the board. But... I could also Torn Warrior, which would not die to the Gnomish Inventor, but it would become enraged by it. But no, this is too tempting. I'm ready to learn. That's this turn only, right? Yeah, just this turn. Get in there and fight, maggot! Oh, yeah, you got it! Cleave is kind of tempting. 
Cleave is very tempting. Hmm. And I could kill that with my 1 1, leaving me. Get out of the way, stupid text. Leaving me with uh, 5 damage potential on the board. Now, what do I play? Well, they're debating debating over it, which I think is probably a good thing for me. I guess I don't have any great plays, maybe. Or it's just a complicated play. That's always possible. So the question is, should I take that out with my Violet Teacher? I think I should. I feel like I should. What now? Alright, it's getting to the point where I could use some more cards. So I'm actually gonna put this I'm gonna put that out. You know, I can never remember what AoEs the different classes have. Like, do they have something right now that could wipe my entire board? I guess they don't if they're playing stuff. Okay. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I have to ask myself, do I have lethal? I think I have lethal, actually. Hold on, let me check. Okay. Um, I can hurt something and get this up to four damage with, with Wind Fury, so... Four, eight, nine, plus five. Which is fourteen, so I don't have lethal. Nope. All right. Do I play everything I have, or do I hold back? I'm gonna be a little bit more cautious and assume they have something that I can wipe my entire board. 
and I'll keep a solid hand in waiting. Just in case. Because I already have more than enough for lethal. There's really no reason to play more. Okay. Why, thank you. That is indeed not going to stop me. Four wins, yeah! I am really happy with that. Office Engineer, do I want to keep you around this early in the game? Mm. It is a two-coster, but on the other hand, it kind of sucks. Mm. I'm going to toss you. Please don't regret that. Please don't regret that. Please don't regret that. Eh. Not sure if I regret that. Well, now that I've gotten that, I don't. <laughs> Playing that with the Argent Squire, though, is not necessarily the best thing. But, whatever. Okay, good. I really was worried about having to play the Mad Bomber. Alright, now the Mad Bomber is going to make a very, well, not a very good turn 3 play. A pretty good one. It's probably going to trigger this, but it's also probably going to pop the Divine Shield. I could play the Raging Worgen and then play it. Oh, I see how it is. Well, isn't that awkward? Okay. Okay, given that, I think the Mad Bomber is actually the best play. I fight. Wanna blow something up? Ah, yes! Ooh. I wasn't sure if it was gonna hit it. Actually, that was another one? Jesus. That's kind of ideal. Didn't kill my 1 1, killed it, and yeah. Torn Warrior looks nice. Actually, no, just Mogashan Warden. Just keep my damage potential, right? Let that thing, let that thing bash its head against my Mogashan Warden. Or do I Torn Warrior and just sacrifice it? Nah, let's protect my stuff. Execute you. Kill you. Stay alive. Why, thank you. Now, what do I play? I seriously have such a pissed off deck. My deck is angry. It's so angry. 
it's maybe the angriest deck I've ever played. Ah, well, what are you gonna do about my Raging Gorgon? Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm going to assume that's the thing that diverts the attack. So... Going with that assumption... Wait, what the hell is it? Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh. I don't know what that was, but it wasn't something that mattered. I guess they were banking on me being paranoid and holding back. Which, well, I kind of was, but... It turned out okay. 5-2! Oh, my wildest dreams are coming true. Think I get to 12 wins without losing a single additional game? Mm, probably not. Well, this looks rather similar to what happened before, doesn't it? The Argent Squire doesn't combo well with the Mad Bomber, but it feels like really greedy to get rid of a one coster on turn one. Okay, that's good. Now, actually, is this like. The light protects me. Are these the exact same cards I had last time? Argent Squire, Mad Bomber, Raging Worgen, Amani Berserk. Isn't this the same thing I had before? Weird. Really weird. Now, do I want Amani Berserker? I could YOLO Mad Bomber. The chance of actually killing that is fairly low. It has four targets it could hit. And out of those four targets, it would need to hit one twice. Relatively low chance. Well, Raging Worgen's a good thing to get out here because it could attack the Sun Fury Protector without dying and become enraged. What now? Oh, you want me, That's all you're going to do? Okay, well... In that case... Do I Mad Bomber to potentially enrage this? Eh, yellow. Not what I was going for, but it worked. I fight. That actually worked really, really well. Arc 
Right, so I've got nine damage on the board. Okay, Whirlwind could combo that with Acolyte of Pain. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay. I'm seeing plays. Plays. With a Z, with, with ten Zs. Plays. Let the pain speak to me. Do I want to shred my whole board to get eight damage out of my Raging Worgen? I kind of do. But is that dumb? What now? I shred my board. But I get 8 damage out on them and I get a card. Or... I must choose. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I don't think that was worth it. Right, so what am I going to be killing? Probably my Raging Worgen, sadly. And my Blood Cell Raider. In fact, I could draw a card and enrage my Spiteful Smith with a Whirlwind. Which, if I get an Arcanite Reaper, the chance of which, out of 21 cards, is, well, 2 out of 21. That's a reasonable chance. That was a mistake. It was? Oh. Well, that's good for me, I guess. Or I could just plop down a massive War Golem next turn. Alright, do I have lethal? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can do 10 damage, so no, I do not. Hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, wait. I think I might have lethal. Wait. Equip a weapon, then Whirlwind, which gets it up to a 3 damage weapon. Hold wait, do I have lethal? A 1-3 weapon. It would take it to, uh, 3 damage. Yeah. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... I have lethal! I have lethal! Okay, I can't mess this up. Equip, then Whirlwind. Wait, what? Holy shit, I must have miscounted. How, how did I miscount? Sh uh, what the hell happened? Four? What the hell? What did I do? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Wait, does Whirlwind affect all the minions on the board or all characters? Maybe it doesn't affect all characters. Maybe it's just all minions. That must be it, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, one damage to all minions. Oh, that was it. Okay. Well, it looks like I won anyway. Whew. It's a pretty big mistake to make to think you have lethal, but you don't. But now I'm kind of shaking after that, but I won. I won. Okay, 6-2, my god. Well, this is the game where I die. Argent Squire, yes. War Golem, no. Wolf Rider, uh... Sure. Hmm, not the greatest. Not bad. The light protects me. Right, well, I can't touch that thing. <laughs> for three coster, I could kill a one coster. Efficiency for the win. I fight. Probably just Acolyte of Pain. Frothing Berserker. It's probably a better play given what they have on the board. Yeah. Suppose they could frost bolt it and sacrifice their mana worm into it. What have you got? It's still not gonna kill it. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Well played. Now I could suicide something into it and prevent it from potentially snowballing. But I could do that at any point. It's never gonna gain health. Well, it's probably not going to gain health anyway. I shouldn't say never, I have no idea. No. It could. It could happen. Pay attention, class. Ow, my face. Or her face, rather. Arcanite Reaper! Not sure I really want to do that yet. What now? All right, let's do this. I am ready to live. <laughs> I 
Instruction begins. Now, do I want to wolf rider that thing? That's the question. I think I do. I'm not sure if that was the right call. Alright, this is gonna pling that off, yep. I can punch that thing in the face, but then I'd be left with nothing on the board. I think maybe I just play my Acolyte of Pain and Harvest Golem. And ignore it for now. Or I could punch it in the face, but then I can't do anything else. No, let's do this instead. Might as well use that up. I'm going to use my Ar Arcanite Reaper soon. No doubt about that. Oh, and it enraged it, which I actually wasn't even thinking of a potential result for that, but uh, yeah, that's nice. So that means my Arcanite Reaper can be a 7-2. Hmm. Or not. If only I had one more mana. Do I just kill that thing and then play nothing else? I feel like that's a wrong call. They could just have a flame strike next turn. Excellent. Actually, no, that's not excellent, is it? No, actually, should have hit the other one if I wanted it to be the ideal result. Would have gotten me two cards out of them. But now they're probably just going to suicide. They're actually, they don't even need to suicide. They can just playing it off. Yeah. Ah, damn it. That demolisher is going to be alive for a long time. What to do? What to do? Well, it's probably going to end next turn when I Arcanite Reaper and Harvest Golem. Yeah, I'm running out of cards here. I've got a board disadvantage, sort of. And a health disadvantage and a card disadvantage. This isn't good. This is not good. I've got a huge card. Thank you for the card? Okay. So I should probably just suicide my Acolyte of Pain. But what do I suicide it into? Hmm. Do this. See what I get. Okay. Mmm, mmm. I like this. If they have Flame Strike, it's going to be totally shut down. Which is why I wonder if I shouldn't play it, but I can play Mogashon Warden, Frothing Berserker, and Whirlwind, which would kill that and gain my Frothing Berserker an insane amount. No. 
I probably shouldn't even play the Whirlwind until I know it's going to do more. Like, they could shut down everything I have and I'll just have wasted that card. I'm kind of just assuming they're going to flame strike. But next turn I can play absolutely everything in my hand. So I could Whirlwind. Get tons of damage with a Frothing Berserker. And Arcanite Reaper, and then Harvest Golem. I'm very glad I didn't play my Whirlwind. Right, I think I just need to smash the Demolisher in the face. I just need to do it. Ah, they probably have a Flame Strike, that's why I don't want to play everything, but... Alright, I'm setting myself up for a Whirlwind next turn. Please don't have flame strike. 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 Please, please, please. Actually, hold on. Let me see. Assuming I have everything on my board next turn, let me see if I have lethal. Or... Never mind. I certainly don't. Whirlwind does not seem like a good play anymore. Hmm. Okay. What Actually, it does seem like a good play. No, 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 stop. Do I play everything I have? I really hope they don't have flame strike. I mean, if you play around if you play around cards forever, you'll never get anything out on the board. That's almost as bad. Right, now I'm top decking, which is not a good position to be in. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Ooh. Aww. That was pretty much ideal for them. Wow, that, that sucks for me. That really sucks for me. Ooh, big stompy. Of course, if they have a Pyroblast, it's GG. Or a Polymorph. I mean, that wouldn't be GG, but that pissed me off. Just punch him in the face? What's more important, doing damage to them or getting rid of their damage potential? No. 
Okay, actually, I just realized, if, even if they do have Pyroblast, what they have on the board is, is not lethal. With Pyroblast and their minions, they could... Well, they definitely don't have Pyroblast, then. Right, with Pyroblast and their minions, they could have done 19 damage. I have 20. So I took a little bit of a gamble there. Alright. That hurts. Cleave. Ooh. God damn it. <laughs> do they have lethal next turn? They do. Well played. Well played. Ah. <sighs> it's okay though. I lasted longer than I thought I would, and I finished 6-3, which I'm ecstatic about. That is... I'm really, really happy with that. Let's see what my reward is. Ooh. 85 gold, I'll take it. Let's see what's in the back. A secret keeper, yay. <laughs> no, I guess, I don't know, that could be an interesting card to construct. It's just an arena, it's almost useless. Okay, well, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon with more arena runs.